So it's currently Saturday, March 19th. It is 12.22 a.m. I haven't had much sleep. I mean, I didn't try to sleep. Back in March 2020, um, everybody's life changed. COVID happened and many people's lives were put on hold. Many people had to stay home, work from home, study from home, take Zoom meetings and classes throughout the day and lost interaction with people they had a week prior. Many friends, families moved back home. We lost a connection. For those who don't know, I was supposed to study abroad in Japan back in March 2020, right before COVID hit. I had my fees already, my plane ticket, pretty much wait for the, the day of my flight to be able to go to Japan. I was, I've been studying Japanese for about two years. To be able to go to Japan for my university, you had to have at least a 3.0 average, a GPA average in Japanese. When I decided to study abroad, I had about 2.5. And my professor, who's pretty much the head of the Japanese department, didn't really believe I was able to achieve the 3.0 average to be able to study abroad, because I think you need to have a 3.0 to go. She didn't believe in me, so I pretty much took the chance and I kept working hard, studied hard, and I was able to get from a 2.5 and up to a 3.0 by getting straight A's, and I proved my professor wrong. Able to study abroad, I had the, the, the grades, I had the, the intermediate knowledge of Japanese, I was ready to study abroad. Once COVID hit, all those plans were put on hold. The Japanese government closed the borders and throughout the whole pandemic, their borders have been closed. So two years have been closed. I felt defeated, confused, unsure about my future because I always wanted to go study abroad. Those dreams were crushed. And now that at the end of February, they made an announcement that they would allow students in March. I also graduate university this semester, Mark or May 2020. So I made a last second decision. I decided to push my graduation a year because I've been waiting so long and all the opportunity came to my front door. I wanted to take that chance. I'm gonna be leaving to Japan a week. I'm less than a week actually, because it's Saturday. I leave Thursday, March 24th, 7 a.m. here in California. I leave 7 a.m from LAX, then I have a layover in Seattle. So I fly to Seattle, I lay over about two hours and a half, and then a straight 12 hour flight to Tokyo. It's been a long two years, finally here. It's hard to believe because past two years, it's been more of like a, who knows, or maybe, it's, let's predict, let's guess, the board's gonna open this time, or this month, or this few months, after the Olympics, after elections, after this new spike of variant drops, etc., it's, it's finally happening now. It's kind of crazy that how life just changes it changes so quickly and randomly at, a, at any moment like that. I'm grateful for the opportunity that's given to me, and I'm grateful for the friends and family who have been supporting me from the beginning, supporting me, keep pushing forward, keep working hard, and one day you'll get where you want to go, you achieve your dreams. Thank you. Go up.